Hey there guys, Daryl Griffiths from Movie Marker here. I hope you've all been keeping very well. Uh, I appreciate it has been a while, I can only apologise. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying what award season has had to offer at the start of 2018. I personally think it's been a really strong start to the year as we move towards the BAFTAs this coming weekend and the Oscars in a couple of weeks' time. Today, I'll be reviewing I, Tonya, which is nominated this year for three Oscars, uh, starring Margot Robbie, Alison Janney and Sebastian Stan. The film is directed by Craig Gillespie. He made Lars and the Real Girl, which is a lesser-known Ryan Gosling-led effort, but is a terrific film if you haven't seen it. And he was also the man behind The Finest Hours, which was a Disney production, if I recall correctly, and starred Chris Pine of Star Trek fame. Now, I, Tonya deals with the story, and quite a controversial one at that, of Tonya Harding. Now, who is Tonya Harding? For the uninitiated, she was an accomplished figure skater who was the first woman in 1991 to land the triple axel during a performance. But her career took a significant tumble in 1994 as her husband, Jeff, played by Sebastian Stan here, orchestrated an attack on a fellow Olympic competitor by the name of Nancy Kerrigan. And she was ultimately banned from competition or ever competing again. And the film takes almost a mockumentary approach. It fuses real life interviews that were conducted uh, after the events that happened that occurred uh, with Tonya played by Margot, uh, Mother Lavona played by Alison, Jenny and her husband Jeff and there's a lot of woe is me, there's a narcissistic streak about each of them and they all try to paint each other as the victim um, but the film doesn't sort of impose uh, its own agenda uh, towards its audience and it sort of leaves you to make up its own mind um, and it follows Tonya's journey from age four uh, being coached uh, in figure skating and all the way to that from the pinnacle and a, the significant fall that occurs. Now the film Craig Gillespie's direction is dynamic it's crisp the editing is sublime here I have to say and it, there's such an averve and attack that's very much uh, represented through Margot Robbie's performance as Tonya Harding and it really complements each other very well. Um, the only sticking point, I'm probably down to financial constraints or budget um, with the film, is the visual trickery within the skating performances. Whilst it almost evo evoked memories of Black Swan for me with Natalie Portman in those final sequences and the way she moves her body um, in such an elegant way, it, in a very dynamic way as well. Um, the visual trickery that you sort of tried to, that Gillespie tries to incorporate into the film, it doesn't always feel authentic. And it does tarnish the key sequences a little bit. Um, but other than that, Gillespie brings a real energy and it doesn't really diminish within almost the two hour running time of the film. It is really accomplished filmmaking from Gillespie. Uh, the performances very much are an embodiment of that as well. Margot Robbie, she's come a long way since her neighbours days, I have to say. Um, making a memorable performance in The Wolf of Wall Street. And she's been the likes of Legend of Tarzan and The Big Short uh, since then. But this is a real big moment and she owns it. She captures a fragility of Tonya, but also that competitive edge um, that she very much embodies. And she's... Um, almost embraces this white trash persona that, I mean, Tonya as a competitor was almost deemed too unorthodox um, in her appearance, in her musical choices, which is very much captured within the film. And Robbie just owns every frame. And alongside her, Alice and Janney, what, what can I say about Alice and Janney? She's such an underappreciated actress. I have been a fan for years and... If she's the front runner for a reason in Best Supporting Actress. She is stellar here. And the, the dinner or the dinner table sequences with her and Margot are dynamite. They really are. And you really get this volatile, just full of angst that she has. And, and almost a, a hint of jealousy about her. Um, and Margot tries to flip it on her saying it was her upbringing. That has ultimately made her this way uh, alongside her relationship with her husband, who is also 
lashes out very violent towards her. And Sebastian Stan, again, he's another guy who I don't feel has had much room to manoeuvre outside his Marvel efforts, of course, with Captain America, uh, the Winter Soldier and Civil War and so forth. Um, but he does capture uh, an intensity about Jeff and almost this flimsy nature about him, uh, which is complemented through the fourth wall breaking. And I think the three performances together, whenever they share the screen, it's just fantastic to watch. Uh, if there is any other niggles that I had with the film, I think because it deals with domestic abuse um, in quite a visceral and an intense way, uh, because the film has a rousing anthemic soundtrack, uh, which in isolation is great. I mean, the musical choices are fantastic, but... It sort of undercuts it a little bit. And whilst not necessarily glamorising domestic abuse, it left me a little ill at ease uh, with certain sequences. And, uh, but from a creative standpoint, I can understand why Gillespie's gone for that. Because it almost plays on the contradictory nature uh, of the characters and of the story and how it's captured uh, through the narrative here. Uh, but otherwise, on I, Tonya, whilst there are certain niggles... Uh, littered throughout it. It has an energy and attack. Uh, it's impressively directed by Gillespie. The performances enhance it even further. If we're talking Olympic uh, terms, it's a strong silver medal uh, film for me um, within the, the grand scheme of things in the award season. I think it's really, it really much accentuates the contradictory nature and a compelling contradiction uh, of a story uh, in I, Tonya. I really do think it's well worth a watch when it's in, out in UK cinemas on the 23rd of February. Uh, that is a wrap from me today uh, on my review of I, Tonya. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed it and I haven't waffled too much. Um, uh, this week, also out, uh, is The Shape of Water, which I highly recommend. I know it's Valentine's Day. I know everyone's going to be... The masses are going to be going for Fifty Shades Freed. But if you can spare a moment for Guillermo del Toro's stunning film. Uh, I was lucky to see it at London Film Festival last year. And I've been raving about it ever since. It is thoroughly deserving of all the praise uh, that it's been getting. And of course there's Black Panther this week. Uh, Ryan Coogler. Uh, I really hope he delivers with this. Um, on a side note. Uh, his debut film, Fruitvale Station, I believe he's on Film 4 this week. Uh, just as a random recommendation to you guys, uh, seek it out. It reinforces why I highly rate him as a director. And I really do believe he's going to uh, put his stamp on things in the Marvel Universe. Um, but that is a wrap. I hope you've enjoyed my review. I've been Daryl Griffiths uh, of Movie Marker. Be sure to check out our website at www.moviemarker.co.uk and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel below. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, but for now, I'll speak to you soon, guys. Take care. Bye for now.